you know, sometimes it's hard for me to get a visual. This was one of those Psalms where I just really struggled with trying to get um, some sort of a visual to portray the Psalm, you know, a doodle. Um, because for me, it's when there's a lot of um, lamenting about the enemies and, um, you know, bring, bring justice to his enemies. I just have a hard time finding an uplifting sort of uh, doodle to go with it, you know, so gosh, I, I really did struggle with this week. Um, and I, I always try to kind of find the one uplifting sort of um, aspect of the psalm that I can doodle um, so that I'm dwelling on the, the promises of God rather than like dwelling on the vindication of God to our enemies. So that's just kind of a heads up on how I always approach the um, psalms. So um, I've just got a layer of clear gesso down and you'll notice when I was just doing the sun, it was starting to beat up. So just hitting it with that heat gun is the magic charm and it does get the paint to, uh, to settle. So um, I'm dropping in a shadow here on her because you have to imagine like the sun's hitting her on the right side and the rest would sort of be more in shadow. I have had lots of requests for um, people to start learning how to draw people a little bit like sort of a simple form of um, people so I, I encourage you to try this this one out go on praiseheart.net the doodle sheet is there you can download it kind of step by step from head to neck to dress um, she's she's really easy uh, and and it gets you started on the path of drawing um, some people so um, and the, the, the scripture that I did find in the passage translation that sort of spoke to me was, um, may, may my past failures that made you frown uh, bring a smile, become a smile for my successes. So I, I liked that because my goodness, I, I, I fail always. Um, but I do believe that he meets us in uh, a, a sweet spot with with our obedience and and our successes so that through him so that little tree there is just sort of a a symbol of something that I have harvested and I've harvested something that I have sown into something that I have dreamed something that um, he planted within me and through him it gets to grow so that that little tree is sort of like my success of you know whatever it is in my life that um without him it wouldn't be here you know and that it does require a constant a, 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 a sapling would require constant care and constant uh, attention you know in order for it to keep going so um i know w with my ministry with praise heart that that little sapling for me is praise heart and just that he continues to grow it and he continues to um, reach more people through the creative arts and and worshiping through pen and paper and color so yay god you know yay god that i get to be on this journey with all of you and with him <laughs> so i i'm lucky that i get to be me every day i get to wake up and be me and see what he's got in store for us to do so that's just fun um so I am, um, I don't mind. I know that there's some of you that are just stressing out about that white um, in the part of the sun and the cloud in the sky there. I don't mind it because it just looks sort of like cloudies, cloudy and um, sort of texture and fresh and different. So I don't want to cover up everything. I like that watercolor sometimes doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So that does not bother me. Um, so I'm just kind of laying in her hair here getting those shadows kind of popped in and a little bit darker with a darker color so um you know see how i've got it opposite of where the sun would be shining so um and i've laid in the first color of her hair clearly you see that that won't work because it does not pop up against the, the yellow of the sun but that's just my first layer i'm going to come back in and add in a, a darker so you saw when i put color on her face there it came in very dark and very um, too much so but with with a good watercolor brush um, you can kind of come in and it will mop up whatever color you don't want so I can't say this um, strongly enough if you have very limited funds to buy art supplies do yourself a favor and buy like a size 8 sable brush 
um, don't spend money on all of the other brushes buy good brushes as you can afford them because it, it changes it's a game changer It's literally a game changer for um, watercolors I know um, I, you know, I used to use the water brushes, but I, in frustration, I finally gave up because, you know, my plight that they were giving out too much water or too little water. And um, when I didn't want them to, they were releasing oodles of water. I've switched over to um, just a few sable brushes and it's, it's truly made all the difference in the world. It truly um, does what it's supposed to do. They hold lots of water. A, a true watercolor brush is intended to hold lots of water so that you can um, move your medium around and it also is like a thirsty sponge so when you need to mop up you can come back in and sort of use water as an eraser or a dry brush, brush as an eraser to mop up so I two thumbs up for um, for quality brushes so also um, quality paints why buy quality paints um, because student grade paints and the paints that you're paying like five dollars for don't really have a lot of pigment in them and if you want them to be bright and bold colors um, you're only going to get that with with more expensive paints so um, I know that watercolors can be expensive and I know that um, you know you can you can break the bank with with art supplies Lord knows but I, I Oh, let me just stop right there and tell you about that. So in her hair here, um, did you see how my brush was no longer pointed? Um, it, it sort of was a little bit splayed out with a dry brush. It kind of splayed out a little bit. I want that during hair uh, because it, it makes those hair strands and I don't have to work at it. So that, that's what I was just showing you there is don't keep it on a point. Let it become splayed and you see how it got all those little stray hairs out there without me even having to work on it. So, um, so a good brush and a good set of like, you know, you don't have to buy like 34, 48 paints, you know, just start with a 12 pack of, um, of good paints and then you can mix colors, you know, just keep mixing colors and getting what you want. So, um, I promise it will change for you. It will honestly make be a game changer for you when you see how bright the colors are and how great the brushes perform and do what they're supposed to do. I can't tell you how long I used like acrylic brushes for watercolor and was frustrated that they were, what am I with these watercolors? They're not doing what I need them to. Of course they're not Lisa. <laughs> Silly Lisa. So, um, so that's my, that's my plea to you today. Um, she is on the, um, praise heart website uh please try you know uh, to draw her i know that um i've got folks that that say i can't draw i can't draw i can't draw um unless you start trying you'll never you'll t you know a year from now you'll still be saying i can't draw i can't draw i can't draw i promise you that um with daily practice you can draw i promise you with like learning how to see you can draw she is not hard she truly is just an oval um like a couple of squares to make up her body she she's not a tough one to to knock out and, and sort of give it a, give it a whirl give the, the little cutie girls a whirl so um i am adding in my pops of uh pencils there i'm putting a golden hue on her because imagine in the sunlight there's just sort of this warmth that the, the ever life around the sun picks up so i'm just trying to add that warm hue picking up on everything you know that the sun is shining on um so um just putting in my color pencil pops you know i something happened with my uh my big crystal i always use the big crystal to sort of go back and outline and kind of write over anything it was the funniest thing right there it had all of this extra ink just kind of bleh, out on the page that's never happened before i was able to get it up but um but that never happened before i was like well that's an interesting misbehavior of the big crystal pen see up there it's on my wax paper but it's not on my uh on my bible page so yeah i'm glad about that so you know i always have to put in like sort of the cutesy cutesies in my in my work so i'm just adding in my cutesy cutesies on there um i i'm not done with cutesy cutesies still more to do um you know the big crystal is a 1.6 milliliter um point and it writes over everything so i do like it um for adding outlines and, and all um I hate when a, a brush, you know, you write on top of a medium and it, it dries out the brush. So here I'm just outlining her a little bit to get her to pop out from the background somewhat. Um, 
and even her feet are just I didn't do anything crazy with her feet they're really just sort of like flat little ovals so I, I really did try to hone her down to just the simple little figure um, standing in the sun that uh, I felt like anybody that feels um, challenged by the drawings every week could uh, could could give it a go and feel success so that is truly what I, I the intent that I feel like the Lord laid on my heart is to truly truly try to offer a doodle every week that that can be met with success from whoever tries it so if that's not working if they're too complicated if um if it, it's not you know if it's not meeting its intended target please let me know um what i need to do to help so um there she is she's done um i was a really bad picture i don't know it, got, it became very dark but um i hope to see you over on the facebook page or on um the website have a great week guys bye